Okay, last video for this week, and I'm going to try to make this one quick. Um, we're going to go over putting hands together for the Star Spangled Banner harmonization. So this is going to be on your midterm. After that, we're done with it. Okay? Um, but I would keep practicing this in the meantime. Um, the week before the midterm, we will definitely have a focus on this and just playing through it. So if you want tips on how to go through the left hand chords, go back to week four and go to the Star Spangle video there. Okay? I'll repeat it one more time. Go back to week four content folder. There should be a video on that um, that covers the left and left hand chords. Okay? Um, it'll be the one that's on the really, really crappy keyboard, but it'll be a video. So with that in mind, I what we're going to do is go very slowly and put hands together today. Okay? Um, since we discussed the chords last time, there shouldn't be too much beyond I want you to play with me as I play. We're going to go very slowly and listen for what sounds different. I can guarantee you that my chords are going to be correct, even if I'm doing a little bit different inversions than you are. Um, I You should listen for this sound and you can tell when you're playing a chord that is not quite right. Okay? Alrighty. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to start with my uh, the left hand down here. Okay, and my right hand's moving around, but it should not run into my left hand on this one. Okay, all right, so we're going to go about one, two, three, one, two. you to use this video as a way to practice with me that is a slow enough tempo but it's fat it's a slow enough tempo that you should be able to handle it but it's fast enough that it's not going to drag and take 10 years to get through the piece um, so see if you can work with this video to not only listen for the chords but see if you can get it up to that tempo um, one thing I will say, I can kind of shift around and do my own fingering. So this is a case of do as I say, not as I do, but write in your fingering for the right hand and practice that and live by that fingering. Um, because your left hand, unless you know your chords by heart, is kind of having to think up things out of like non-existence. That doesn't make much sense when I say it like that. You have to think of chords and play them right on the spot, essentially. So, having a really solid right hand fingering is going to help a lot. That way, if your left hand gets a little bit flustered and you have to drop a chord here and there, keep going with your left, right hand. We're still going to hear the melody, it's just going to sound really sparse for a little bit. If you get lost on a certain chord, then, then like for example, if you, I got a little bit confused because I forgot to switch from D to B minor because, you know... By the end of it, I was on autopilot, which is not good either. Um, but like when we get to um, say, and you forget that, and you can't remember what chord to switch to, go keep going with your right hand, and eventually 
you will have hopefully be able to catch up with your left hand. Also, slow it way down. All the singers do it, so you can do it as well. What I want to see is that you're able to move from chord to chord and not get completely flustered if you miss one here or there, because ultimately it's not going to matter, okay? Alrighty, so I hope that that helped you quite a bit putting hands together. Like I said, if you need more help on figuring out the chords, go back to week four's video, okay? All right, that is everything. Have a great week. Happy practicing, and I will see you guys uh, next week. Bye.